Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I did not make this. A wonderful lady in Iceland made it and I got to pick it up from her shop two years ago at the beginning of my pottery career and forever inspired by this little cup. And I'm drinking my afternoon matcha. I'm sitting here thinking about all the things that I gotta glaze and also sitting here very happy with how great of a turnout we had. You know, we tried some new things because that's all I know how to do. And like, <laughs> I'm so glad I like ended the year this way because it's just so silly. So now I get to decide what all of these will look like in their final state. And I also did get stickers. I started this year thinking that it would be the year of merch and I was going to make so many fun silly things alongside of my ceramics and the designs were made. I have so many things that I could turn into a sticker, a notebook, a notepad, a tote bag, a hat. It's all there and like all like actually there like on my iPad but the follow through just never happened until now. And it's actually really silly. Also a great way to end the year. This is the tiniest baby sticker <laughs> that I definitely thought would be like at least half an inch bigger, even though on the thing it like tells you like the actual width and height of it. But you know, it's just like hard to envision. I love them. And that was a thing that I wanted to check off this year. And I did it definitely gonna make it bigger. I also might turn this same design 
but just add my name at the bottom to make a stamp to start stamping the bottom of my pieces and then just carving in the date. I love carving my name at the end, but then I realized that like it's wonky as my brand, even though I am the one that's like signing it, but nowhere on the cup does it say it's wonky. And I thought it would be cool to combine the two. So just put it's wonky by Jamie Griffin and then the date. So these are things that are turning and will continue to turn while I glaze all of these pieces. A whole cart full. We are finishing strong, okay? That's what we're doing. I am charged by matcha and we will tackle this one cup at a time. Cheers to you. We got this. Hello, good morning. It is Saturday, December 9th. Lovely day. I have got my matcha and I just did some yoga and I think I have like 20-ish pieces that are not painted, not including all the small things like magnets and ornaments, but that's okay. We are going to get there. I am hoping to at least do half of them today and then the other half tomorrow and then the pieces that are still left in my kiln because I didn't want to bring them all here. <laughs> I'll do those on Monday just at my parents' house where my kiln is and then hopefully load it up and fire it on Tuesday. That would be really nice if that could happen, but I'm gonna give myself some grace if it doesn't and just push everything back a day because that will still be fine. Like, is it ideal to unload the kiln on a Thursday before a market on a Saturday? Like, no, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Like, it's the end of the year, let's just knock this out, but not stress ourselves out in the process. So I'm not feeling really stressed by this right now. It's more so just like a time consuming task and I just wanna get it done. And I think I have it all like mapped out as far as colors and stuff go. So I just need to like do it. And I'm like totally fine with staying home and just doing this this weekend. I feel like I've had enough social things happening to where having like a task to do that's just me at home sounds so great. <laughs> so I'm actually like kind of excited to just sit here and do this today. Hoping to take a walk as my little break time and just keep doing things that are good for me so that I don't feel crappy <laughs> by the time this is all over. I'm hoping that I can like shut down everything by December 22nd. That is my goal. But there are like back end things that I want to do digitally getting organized with like my files and like receipts and all that stuff prepped so that come the new year, whenever we do do our taxes, I can easily make that happen. Also, I just do all of that stuff myself. I don't have an accountant, so I like to be as prepared as possible maybe one day i can afford having one but right now it's just me and my sheets <laughs> and my receipts so i just want to get as like organized as i can on that end so that way i'm stepping into the new year getting a nice little refund check and staying so organized and I just want to like update my site with any leftover pieces that I have. I would love to do like a whole like clear out my inventory and just start the year with like an empty shelf. Like that sounds so nice to me. But those are all still things that might need to take place after the 22nd. But I also think that in order to not burn myself out, that I need at least two weeks where I'm not doing any of this and so the goal is to like set myself up enough to where even if it's like after Christmas and then like the first year of January where I'm just like not 
doing anything as far as like business stuff. You know, there's just like so many parts to this whole thing of running a business that is so exciting and I love it, but I'm trying to like keep it in a love state and not a hate state. And I know it's like waves, it's never going to be perfect, but I want to at least try to make it as ideal as I possibly can. And also spend a lot of time like dreaming hard and really visualizing where I want this to go. Because I think tangibly having those like desires either written out or just like in my face regularly will help keep me focused so that I don't just like stumble into things. I don't want life to just like happen to me. I want to be aware that like what's happening if that makes sense. Like not just like willy-nilly doing things but doing things that like align with like who I am and my goals and like my values and like all of that and not just get lost in the like capitalist rush of just like trying to make money and survive really you know it's like a life I'm building a lifestyle a home for my creativity and I want to make it a good home so with this ramble I'm going to sit on that while I glaze my cups I do really feel like this year taught me so much. I have goosebumps right now just thinking of all of the things that I've done and all of the things that I've like even just recorded on here that I can look back on. I'm feeling sappy and I'm really cool with it because it's nice to have something to feel sappy about and it's nice to, I don't know, be like, yeah, you did it. You wanted to do it and you did it and like that's can work for you too and I think it's just easy to forget that it it's not that it's that simple but it's kind of like that simple and just realizing like saying these things and repeating these kinds of phrases it like makes a difference it shifts your mindset and I've said this before that I just want to come at things with more abundance and less scarcity and see what happens because I've been living in a scarcity mindset forever. So let's see what happens when I flip it. So hopefully 2024 will be more abundant than I could have ever imagined for you and me. Let's glaze.
Sunday is here. Are you ready for more of the same? <laughs> because I actually am. I probably won't record all of my glazing today because I'm finishing up the last like 10 pieces. Most of them are solid colors, minus two that I'm making for my husband and I. I have 16 pieces at my parents' house tomorrow. If I can paint all of those tomorrow, that would be amazing. I have just been brewing, like I discussed yesterday, and I'm just trying to figure out how I can do this all better next year. I definitely <laughs> don't want to make as many pieces as I did this year. I made so much, which is awesome, but physically and just with my current health state and my low iron and still needing to figure that out, and I just don't want to push my body that much more and like by just like repeating everything I did this year. So the goal is to find other ways to make money. I mentioned that I made some stickers. I might try the whole like making stationary thing or just figure out something more sustainable as far as like I'm not just like giving people the stuff that they're just gonna throw away, but also stuff that doesn't require so much of me physically. I have been considering all of that. So if you have any ideas of stationery or things that you would like to see from me that maybe aren't like actual cups and mugs and plates, or if you have other ideas for functional wear that you would love to purchase in my vibe, um, let me know. I'm feeling pretty open and I wanna remain that way because I think good things can come from that and I don't want to close myself off too soon. I'm so new here, you know? This year was just about experimenting and I'm gonna keep doing that. So I'm going to glaze my little heart out today again and I will see you when I either load or unload the kiln with all of these pieces. And then it's market time. So far, so good. Last kill on love of 2023. So successful. I was so worried that because it was the last fire of the year, something was going to go wrong. But like, literally nothing went wrong. Nothing even got too drippy, which was another fear. Like all of the, if any of them have any issues, I think I just need to sand them or like, 
one of these there's just like a little chunk of clay in there yeah i'm like so confused this is wonderful i am going to sand these and head home i'm so happy i wow final drop of the year and it feels like me and that's all i wanted it's so hard with so many different people making ceramics and being on the internet and just like constantly seeing what everyone is doing it's terrible like we weren't made for that and so to have a collection that i feel like is me like just seeing the colors all together like my younger self would totally obsess over all of this and i feel like pottery has very much been me healing that relationship with my younger self and just like letting myself play and not care and just do what I want and it feels like me and I just that's the accomplishment of the year tbh yeah wow <laughs>